How, how, do, how quickly does this respond if, uh, if I'm using any type of failover options? Um, you know, if I'm trying to move one instance to another machine and that type of stuff, how quickly does all this stuff update for me? Oh, it's, it's, it's very rapidly. So uh, when you're using uh, vMotion, for example, within the, the VMware environment, you're going to see a, a series of, of uh, processes that kick off from the, the server administrator. From the network administrator side, he doesn't actually notice that the vMotion is happening. And what you're going to see is a, a slight change here. And we'll actually show that to you in, in just a minute. So when we look at uh, this particular portion of the screen, it says active on module two. Uh, remember Bring back to that show module command. Um, that is a particular server. Oh, right. and okay. What the oh, network administrator, yeah. what the network administrator would see is that uh, nothing would change. The virtual Ethernet interface stays the same, so that he's always working on the same interface that relates back to that virtual machine. But the module number would change, so you know exactly. Oh, very where the cool. Machine is running. Okay, that's that's pretty handy. All right. Okay. So the other thing that you you see here, um, which is the the port profile, is a, a fundamental component of, of VN Link that we were talking about earlier. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, this is really what enables enables us to identify the virtual machine and, and allows us to rapidly provision these applications. So I'm just going to show you a, a, a port profile. I've got a, a couple defined here. Um, and we can see, uh, let's take a look at uh, this port profile here, web server. Okay? Mm -hmm. This port profile simply defines um, the configuration options for that particular virtual interface or a series of virtual interfaces. And again, if you've ever worked on a Cisco switch, you can see the commands here that are associated with that port profile. Port mode access, absolutely. This, this is a, a very simple port profile, but within a port profile, uh, you could define not only the, the port type as you can see here, but you could define uh, ACLs, quality of service, uh, any troubleshooting, say if you wanted to collect uh, NetFlow statistics or anything like that. Oh, you yeah, and you uh, assign it to the attribute of pro port profile then? A absolutely. And then, what oh, then it will chase it anywhere it goes. Absolutely. So Sol we, solves our visibility issue that's and all, well, policy, the, the, exactly. security. Yeah. Exactly. So when that virtual machine moves around, the port profile follows that virtual machine and the server administrator can rapidly move these things without having to come back to the network administrator. It's a, that one feature itself is worth, worth that one, if, if this was all you had, that would be worth it, and, in and my this, opinion. This is a huge component of, of not only uh, the Nexus 1000V, but also VNLink itself. So uh, one of the things that you'll see on the, the server administrator side is as they're, they're provisioning virtual machines, they say, well, normally I would go through the process of defining what's called a port group in the VM world, and that defines my, my yep. network properties. The server administrator doesn't have to do that anymore. So what happens is when the network administrator defines this port profile, we have an API back to, to VMware to simply say, this is the port profile that the server administrator administrator needs, and that gets populated into the, the VMware GUI, so they see that as a port group. So they're not the ones defining that port group anymore, the network administrator is, but then they, the server administrator can rapidly select that port group and provision his, his virtual machines. You kind of jumped over something pretty quick here that really caught my attention. So you guys actually have a, a VMware API back into their product to actually feed that information back and forth? Absolutely. So when you, when you uh, commit this uh, port profile, what you'll see on the VMware side, let's just take a look at the properties of, of this particular virtual machine. Uh, we'll, we'll add the settings real quick. Um, when you go into the network adapter for this particular virtual machine, you see what is, what is here called a, a network label. And then from that network label, they'd be able to select a port profile that the How network administrator has defined. clean. Okay, this is pretty cool and stuff, but Dan, you're on the lab side. Let me put you in the rack here and show me how to actually provision out a virtual machine for me real quick. Sure. Let me so see how this works. Let's take a 